Hello, y'all. Um, it has, it's been a little bit. It's been a minute since um, we have been on here from the Red Rooster Kitchen. Uh, we've had a lot going on, been working on a lot of things, um, trying to move our location from the dining room where it was, uh, just so it'd be easier for me to um, move around and do things a little bit easier. So anyway, uh, my husband suggested that we use one of our guest rooms, so that's what we did. Uh, the electrician couldn't get here on the Friday that he was supposed to, so um, I think it was the following week on Thursday that he was finally able to get here, uh, just couldn't be helped. Anyway, he got it up and running and then from there it was uh just getting things done in the room uh, ready and prepared the way that i wanted it um actually the inspiration for this room was a kitchen that we had done once before in a house that we used to live in uh, that we bought uh, it was built in 1937 and it was just an awesome kitchen and I loved it and I truly missed it. So anyway, just tried to recreate that a little bit, not totally done, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna show you where I'm at right now. Okay y'all, here we go. Just remember, not everything is finished and we still have a lot of work to do. But welcome to the new Red Rooster Kitchen. This kitchen looks a lot like the kitchen that we had in our house in Judsonia, as far as how the coloring and what has been used. There are still some changes to be made and things to be done. But I'll talk about those in just a moment. Before I get started um, talking about the room and what recipes I'm going to do today and possibly this week, we're going to grind some coffee and we're going to make some in my percolator that I love. So hang on with me just a moment. Sorry if it's kind of loud. <laughs> this is a good arm workout if you switch up your arms, that is. <laughs> probably 2005, somewhere around there. I've had it quite a few years now. Um, have always used it. It's not just something I've put up here to look at. I, I use the things that, that I like. Um, everything on this is original. It is uh, from 1910. Found it at an antique shop in downtown Batesville. Um, you know, I just love it and it works perfectly. The only thing you can't do in this is do not, if you have one of these or ever get one of these, do not put flavored coffee beans. The oil um, will bog it down, clog it up. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> anyway, lesson learned. So just your plain uh, dry coffee beans, um, just regular flavor coffee beans, whatever brand you like. Um, I don't even remember what brand this is right now, um, but anyway, uh, it works out really good. So, I'm just gonna take that off. I think I've got enough ground up. I've already got water in the percolator, so I'm just gonna add my coffee to it. Move over here so I'm not in the way. If you hear some noise, the dogs have come in and they're walking around. I've got Tilly, our dog, and Emmett, the grand dog. So. We don't use this very often, 
uh, matter of fact, only used it a few times since I found it. Um, so, and I haven't had it very long, but I really enjoy having it. So we like our coffee strong. So as my father-in-law used to tell my husband, we like our coffee and we make a spoon stand up in it. Kind of like thick as motor oil, as he called it. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the rest of that in there. And I think we got all that good. Step back. All right, we've got it on. I've got to go under my cabinet here to reach the plug in. Hug her in. Okay, coffee should be percolating in just a few minutes and we'll sit down and, and talk about it. See you in a minute. Percolator is just about done. It's going strong and so I'm going to enjoy a cup of that in just a moment. Not too long. All right, y'all. This is ready and I'm going to pour a cup and then we're going to sit down and we'll talk about things. Coffee's all ready and it tastes really good and I'm going to enjoy this while I'm talking with y'all. First of all, I'll just tell you that um, if it's echoing, I'm sorry, I'm still going to get a rug to put under this little table. Uh, we still got several things to do, like I said before. Um, the stove is all plugged in and ready to go and that's been exciting. And then as soon as we got um, that in, we got the checkerboard floor put in. I don't, I think you saw that in the video. Um, if you did, if it's not in there, then I'll do a shot of it and show you. Uh, we got the Hoosier cabinet and my little wall cabinet moved in. Um, and I painted, I painted uh, exactly like I painted in my Judsonia kitchen and I, We'll have some photos of that um, and show you the two at the end of this video. Anyway, um, I'm trying to decide what I'm going to bring in from where I had the stove before in the dining room. Probably won't bring all of those dishes and all that in here just because if I do that, then I won't have anything in my dining room. And I was able to move my china cabinet back. Uh, where all this stuff was. And so a lot of those dishes will be in that. Um, I do love to collect vintage items. So everything in this little kitchen will be vintage. Now, as I was putting this together, and I mentioned before, my granddaughter Chloe, um, from the first time she started baking with me from this Hoosier cabinet, um, she has called that her kitchen. Uh, one because she could reach the countertop to it. So uh, she has claimed that some time ago <laughs> and every uh, new piece I've brought in. Uh, man, is this for my kitchen? Um, yeah, Chloe, it's for your kitchen. So she told me, um, she was here yesterday and very excited about this. And she told me that on the door needs to be a sign that says Chloe's Red Rooster Kitchen. So. That's what will be on the door. Speaking of the door, I'm gonna take down that door and put up a screen door. So right now I'm on the hunt for an old antique vintage screen door that I'm gonna put on there. Um, the closet, I was gonna turn that into a pantry, but I'm now thinking um, just in case I need the space for sleeping, I've been on Pinterest and I'm actually gonna turn that into uh, 
little tiny like <laughs> New York apartment bedroom with a little twin bed and take down the doors and I'm going to put draw curtains. And so we're going to fix that up really cute, but that's another project. I do have to get things on the wall. Uh, the shelves that I had up in the other space in the dining room, um, I still got to get up on the wall. They're brown wood and I will probably leave them that. I'm a real stickler, stickler for not painting antiques. I know a lot of people like to do it and chalk paint is all the craze and that's, that's something people like to do. I just cannot bring myself to paint an antique piece or a vintage piece. I just can't do it. So probably going to leave those brown. Now, if I come across a piece that uh, was so far gone that it, it there's nothing else that can be done for it or um, it was already painted uh, originally, uh, then I will repaint it and freshen it up. But otherwise, as a matter of fact, the Hoosier cabinet needs a fresh coat of white paint and that is something that I'm going to need to do. Now, what all does this have to do with eating keto and cooking keto uh, and doing the cook keto low carb videos? Well, not really anything, but for me, everything. Um, when we built this house, I didn't have any plans or even any thoughts or ideas of ever doing a YouTube channel and cooking videos, but that um, came about after the fact. And the way that our kitchen is built, it's very awkward and um, I've been able to do a few videos in there, but the way it was working, um, I had to do so much editing because everything I needed to do, I had to stop, move the my phone, which is my camera, move it and put it somewhere else and then do what I needed to do. Like if I needed in the refrigerator, if I needed it to open the oven, if I needed to open a cabinet, Regardless of wherever I placed it, um, it was in the way and I would have to stop, get out what I needed if I didn't already have it out. Um, and as much as I try to have everything out already, there's always seems to be something I forget. So, um, the idea to put it on the other wall in the dining room um, wouldn't have made it much easier, uh, even though that's where I had intended to have the stove a plug in put in for the stove. I got to thinking if I, you know, it's just not going to be much easier there. And you're always going to be looking at my back. Um, my husband suggested this room. So in doing that, um, I will be able to film from this side, preparing on this table or from the side of the Hoosier cabinet, uh, and either side of the stove. And even I will have room from behind the stove to put the camera if I need you to see what I'm doing over there. So this is just going to make it work a little bit easier for me and not have to stop and move the camera so much. I still will, but not as much. Anyway, it's, it's been um, several days since I've put up a video. Like I talked about a little bit before, it was just because uh, the electrician couldn't get here. Uh, when we had planned, and you know how that goes. Um, you plan things, and then you have to adjust to how things are actually happening. So, um, we've got that done. Uh, Kirk took a vacation last week. It was a working vacation. Uh, we had a lot to do around here. He worked very hard on this room for me, um, getting the floor down and, and getting the trim up, uh, like I had. Um, one thing that was different in our Judsonia kitchen where the green paint is, and that is avocado, new avocado is that color. Um, I don't remember the green, the name of the green we used in Judsonia, but I, I can't tell any difference. But the only difference is on the bottom half in that kitchen, I had beadboard. And I do plan to go ahead and put beadboard in this bottom half. Just time-wise, um, I just, I wanted to hurry up and get this up and going so I could start doing videos again. So that's something I can add later. Uh, the top color is um, Summer Moon. Uh, again, it's, I can't tell any difference from the color I used in Jetsonia, but it's not the same name. Um, this is all Valspar paint that we got at Lowe's. Um, I, 
pretty sure that's where I got the paint um, when we were in Judsonia. I've got material to make curtains, um, and so that's something I'm gonna do. Uh, these chairs I just found in Bono, Arkansas, just a few miles from here. Uh, they are identical to the chairs that I had in the Judsonia house, so that was really cool to find those. I may or may not recover the seats. I, I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do there, but anyway, um, just wanted to tell you a little bit about our kitchen and what's been going on and why you haven't seen a, a cooking video um, up recently. Um, I've got several in mind that I plan to do and start getting up this week. And as I'm doing them, you'll see changes in here, things that are gonna be added as we get to them. I'm also looking for an antique light to go above. I'm gonna take down the ceiling fan that's in here and put down a vintage light or put up a vintage light. Um, I've got an old fan that I'm looking for that I will put in here and um, see what we can do with that. I would like to add, my husband is planning on helping me add a sink. Now that's gonna be a little bit tricky because it won't have uh, running water from, you know, we won't be adding pipes. It'll be a, um, portable sink, but it'll be a vintage sink. So that's some stuff we've got to get worked out and we've got, got some ideas on it. Um, my vintage uh, 1949 Philco refrigerator is still not here, but that's gonna happen pretty soon. Um, she looks a little rough from being in storage uh, for quite some time. She still works like the day she come off the line back in 40, 49, 1949. Um, so she needs cleaned up a little bit. Uh, um, and this, uh, not the seal, but the inner lining, um, uh, it needs a new one, but it still works like the day it came off the line. So anyway, I wanna get that up here and get a sink put in and get our little bed put in and probably even gonna be looking for uh, an antique washing machine like my grandmother's used to use. And I, I think that's cool. I've been wanting one of those for a long time. And also the other thing, uh, the thing that um, really sold me on the Judsonia house, um, back, that was back in 2013, was the ironing board that came out of the wall. It was original to the house and it was the coolest thing. <laughs> So I'm gonna be looking for one of those that has come out of an old home. I don't want a new one, I want an old one um, to put in the wall in here. And so anyway, I'm gonna take it back to that kitchen as close as I can get it. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, like I said, there's gonna be new things added continuously as I find things and, I, and we have time to get it here. It, it took a lot of time just to get done what we did have done. So anyway, I will get a video up. Uh, I'm hoping to do um, keto shortbread and strawberries. Um, this is the time of year that that is in. Um, I know we used to enjoy going down to the Bulldog in Balnam, Arkansas and getting a strawberry shortcake. Um, can't do that now, that is not keto for us, or low carb, certainly. So I've been looking at um, recipes for uh, keto shortbread, um, and I'm gonna do some keto shortbread with strawberries and whipped cream. So I think that's gonna be my first video that you'll see next. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, give us a share. Uh, Hit the notification bell. If you do that, then as I start making more videos, you're gonna get notified as soon as one goes up. And we'll see you next time. Thank you, Kirk, for helping me to bring back um, what I enjoyed about the old Judsonia kitchen. I appreciate it and I love you.
see you all again soon. Thanks for watching.